Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, you can get all of our high quality Photoshop and Photoshop Elements templates at EasyDigitals.com. Just click on the Products button. And don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month, along with product update info and coupons. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Today, I want to show you how to use one of my favorite tools, which is the Quick Selection tool. And I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And basically, it's a brush, so I am going to hit my right bracket to make the brush larger and I am basically going to remove my subject from the background so I'm just going to start going over the areas that I want to keep and I'm going to come up up here and show you if you have this auto enhance turned on it does take a little bit longer but it makes the details a little bit easier to grab and it takes more time to evaluate the image and what needs to be selected. So I do have Auto Enhance selected and I'm just going to come down here and just kind of go over these areas. I'm going to hit my left bracket and make my brush smaller and come down. And So as you can see I've roughly selected the areas that I want to keep although it's not exact as I have some black areas behind here that I don't really want so I need to go in and work on the details now so I'm going to select my magnifying glass and I'm just going to come over to this area that I want to work on the details back to my quick selection tool now I'm going to press the alt key to deselect these areas and I'm just going to go over them as you can see I have a little minus symbol in my brush now and I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller and I'm just going to deselect some of this area right underneath his arm and then my plus tool because I lift it up on the alt key and I'm going to come back in here and I'm just going to look at the details here I've got a little bit of white here around his fingers that I want to take away so I'm going to press my alt key to get my minus symbol and I'm just going to go over that and this area, this black right behind here, I want to get rid of. So I'm going to press my Alt key. And right here around his arm, I'm going to just Alt key and then get rid of that area. And I could work on this area inside his helmet and all of these little squares, but I'm going to skip that for now because I don't want to get that detailed on this tutorial. And right here I want to go ahead and select a little bit more of his finger. And you can zoom in even closer if you want to make sure you're exactly where you'd be. A little bit more of his thumb. And now I'm going to zoom in a little bit more on his head. And back to my selection tool. And I'm going to make sure I have... And I'm going to press Alt and get rid of this area. And it went too far. So this is, this is kind of the fine areas that kind of get a little bit more difficult. You may have to get a smaller brush for. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here a little bit more. And just make sure I get the areas of his ear that I want. Press my Alt key. Make sure get and that looks pretty good. I'm gonna subtract this little area right here. Oops. Add back in. And you can get as detailed as you want. Now I'm gonna view it on screen. Okay, now I'm looking it over and to me it looks pretty good. So now we're going to go to the next step which is refine edge. And right now it's showing you what it would look like with a black background because, I mean a white background because this white is selected. 
if you select the black, you can see what it looks like with a black or a mask or nothing. So I'm more than likely going to put this on a black background. So I'm going to see how it looks with this. And this is basically, you just start playing with these and you can see what they do. And the smoothing. And you can expand your area that you're working on. So this shows more of the background when I can expand it. And this brings the background in more when I contract it. So you kind of want to find your place there. Feathering just softens the edges, as you can see. And you might just go extreme so that you can see what it, it does exactly. And I'm just wanting to I don't really want to see anything white behind him, so I'm taking away a little bit extra just so that I don't see anything white. And I just want to make it a little bit soft. And then I'm going to click OK. And it hasn't really done anything yet. It's still just showing this outline. So I'm going to come up here to my window and I'm going to look at my layers. And I'm going to, I always like to make a copy of my background layer. And then I'm just going to click on the mask tool. And because this background is on, you can't see what it did, but it just basically masked off everything. So it's still there, but it's masked off. Now I can take this layer and I can just drag it into any um, photograph that I want to, any poster or anything that I want to work on. And I can double click it and um, I can add like a drop shadow and I can, you know, increase the shadow or I could add an outer glow so you can see that you can have a lot of fun with it once you extract it and it really doesn't take very long so I hope you enjoy the quick selection tool hey that was easy thanks for watching if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products, you can always reach us at easydigitals.com. Have a creative day. Have yourself a creative day.